David, what exactly are cryptocurrencies and digital assets? So cryptocurrencies are, are a digital or virtual currency that is secured by cryptography, which makes it nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Many cryptocurrencies are decentralized networks based on blockchain technology, a distributed ledger enforced by a disparate network of computers. I will explain this a bit more on blockchain in a bit, a bit later. A defining feature of cryptocurrencies is that they are not generally issued by any central authority, rendering them theoretically immune to government intervention or manipulation. The first blockchain technology created was Bitcoin. Today, there are thousands of alternate cryptocurrencies known as altcoins with various functions and specifications. Bitcoin was launched in January 2009 by an individual or group known by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin offers the promise of an online currency that is secured without central authority, unlike government-issued currencies. There is no physical Bitcoins, only balances associated with a cryptographically secured public ledger. So some of the alternative cryptocurrencies, altcoins, spawned by Bitcoin's success include Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple. Ethereum is currently the second largest cryptocurrency in terms of market value, which enables the deployment of smart contracts and decentralized applications known as dApps to be built on and run without downtime, fraud, control or interference from a third party. Ethereum comes complete with its own programming language, which runs on a blockchain, enabling developers to build and run distributed applications on the Ethereum blockchain. The potential applications of Ethereum are wide-ranging and are powered by its native cryptographic token, Ether, which is commonly abbreviated as ETH. Ether is like the fuel for running commands on the Ethereum platform and is used by developers to build and run applications on the platform. Ether is mainly used for two purposes. It is traded as a digital currency on exchanges in the same fashion as other cryptocurrencies and it is used on the Ethereum network to run applications. There are thousands of, of altcoins that have been built upon the basic framework provided by Bitcoin. Thus, most altcoins are peer-to-peer. -peer. They try to offer efficient and inexpensive ways to carry out transactions on the internet. Even with many overlapping features, altcoins vary widely from each other. As altcoins evolved, distinct categories emerged some of the main types of altcoins include mining-based cryptocurrencies, stablecoins, security tokens, and utility tokens. Mining-based altcoins have a mining process by which new coins are generated by solving challenging problems to unlock blocks. They are more similar to Bitcoin than other altcoins. Most of the top altcoins in 2020 fall into this category, Ethereum being one of them. Stablecoins are altcoins which peg the value of that stablecoin to existing fiat currencies or commodities. So an example of stablecoins are US dollar tether, true US dollar, true GBP. Uh, Facebook is actually planning to launch a stablecoin called Libra early this, uh, this year. Security tokens are linked to businesses and they offer, often launch in an initial coin offering, better known as ICO. Security tokens resemble traditional stocks and they often promise some type of dividend-like payout or ownership in a business. Utility tokens provide a claim on services and they are sometimes sold as part of an ICO. So Filecoin is an ex excellent example of a utility token offered in an ICO. Filecoins are designed to, ex to be exchangeable for decentralized file storage space.